especially in our country. Time study is a very, very beautiful, pragmatic, centralized study and double blind, randomized control study, open label. It's a very, very powerful study. Why there, is, there was a need of time study is an important point to understand. Already two studies took place before. One was MAPEC study. In the MAPEC study, there were about, I think, uh, uh, 1900 patients where they reported that the outcome of primary endpoints in the form of non-fatal MI, non-fatal stroke, and the vascular death, and the need for revascularization was less as compared to morning dosing. This is what uh, uh, MAPEC study was. Similarly, there was one more study from the Spain group. They all from Spain. And all the, this study also mentioned in the same way to the number of patients with 19,000. And they came with the same data. However, a group of experts visualized the need of another study to validate whether morning dosing, evening dosing, does it really make a difference? So, time was initiated somewhere in uh, 2011 and it continued almost for 9 years, 10 years. But the randomization was repeated again somewhere in 2016. And this study was done in UK, only for UK population. Okay. And most of the people involved were at beyond 18 years of age. Those who are hypertensives, taking one medicine or two medicines or three medicines. And they tried to analyze the primary endpoints and secondary endpoints. The primary endpoints were individuals who were hospitalized for non-fatal MI, non-fatal stroke, vascular death, as well as these primary endpoints were taken as a first event after the event has occurred. The secondary endpoints were also hospitalization from non-fatal, fatal MI, and they also considered adherence. And how many patients had fractures and falls were also considered, and adverse effect especially in reference to diuretics. Okay. So this was also a very important criteria which was considered. And the total follow-up was 5.2 years, oh, right. which was a very, very enormous right. follow-up. So I think everything was regulated by a portal. They were on email mm -hmm. or internet. So it was like a self people volunteered and people were very happy and they took the medicines and the follow-up was done for 5.2 years of all the patients. And after 5.2 years, they came to a conclusion that the difference between the primary endpoints and secondary endpoints were not different in the morning dosing and evening dosing, dosing. except non-adherence. Non-adherence. Non-adherence was seen in the people who were in the evening dose group. Oh. It was up to a tune of 25 to 30 percent, which is oh. huge. Oh, huge, huge. As compared to the morning dose. Yes. So that means the adherence was more in the morning dose. Morning. While the non adherence was more in the <laughs> evening dosing. So maybe the timings were from 8 p.m. to 12 midnight. Sometimes people take drinks and all, they forget about it. And those who were the morning dosing from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. And then they tried to analyze the various other uh, adverse events like fractures and falls. Yeah. They were equal, there was no difference. So they came to a conclusion that whether you take evening dose, or morning dose, mm -hmm. it is not going to make any difference mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so far as the events are concerned mm -hmm. in the form of primary endpoint and secondary Second endpoint. Then right. you can ask me, Dr. Swami, what is your message mm -hmm. to the yeah. audience? And, and particularly in the country like India, yeah. where we have a lot of diversity yeah. and at this point of time, we considering uh, the time results, how you see the time results applicability Absolutely. in the country of India. Excellent. So that's a real point, I think uh, you asked me. Time study is a study. Yeah. But I am talking to you a pragmatic approach. Yes. yes. And the pragmatic approach is in Indian context, I strongly recommend 
that any patient we prescribe diuretics should be in the morning hours. Any patient who gives CCB, calcium channel blockers, they are long acting, their half life is longer, even in the morning hours. So far as sartans are concerned and beta blockers are concerned, I feel ideally the beta blocker should be given in a double dose. Because the sympathetic drive, we just had a session on this, the sympathetic drive is more in the daytime as well as early morning hours. So we need to cover 24 hours Correct. sympathetic overdrive. Correct. And nobody should fall victim to a VT or sudden cardiac Correct. death or MI. So ideally, it should be dose divided morning and evening. Correct. Or preferably, those who can afford can be given in the evening hours to prevent sudden event in the early morning Correct. hours. Correct. But my personal recommendation is double dose. Double dose. So that there is a full cover. Correct. Or a long-acting drug which has a more half-life. Correct. The third thing is very important about the ARBs. ARB's recommendation widely is used ARB now is Telmisartan. And I think Telmisartan can be given in the night dose or morning dose because the activation of our system yeah. is also more in the daytime, daytime as compared to the nighttime. So my recommendation is very, very strong that most of the doses I favor in morning. morning. Compliance is good, adherence is good. In Indian context, people are happy. They don't forget, they take breakfast, they don't forget breakfast. At night they forget dinner, because they are drunk, they don't know what they are doing. <laughs> so practically, that's I think acceptable. In the evening dose, only about the beta blockers, which I think, because beta blockers is a very, very important drug. And we just had a session with you, and we came to know that the real robust survival rate is possible if we optimize the dose of beta blockers. Beta blockers. So my message is very clear to all the audience based on the time data that time data is clarified very clearly that evening dose, morning dose will not make a difference. But the most important issue is adherence. The adherence is more with the morning dose. So my recommendation is we should go with the morning dose equally. And now there is the era of so-called ARNI and SGL inhibitors. I strongly recommend it should be given also in the morning dose or in some individuals where there is a variation of blood pressure. So we can divide it into a half dose morning and evening. Otherwise, that's also effective. So I think uh, dosing is very important, but please individualize your patients. We cannot make a universal formula. There are people where the ambulatory blood pressure monitoring is showing a significant variation in the night. We see there is non dipper or there is a reverse dipper, or there is extreme dipper. So I think uh, take into consideration the comorbidity, if a person diabetic, if a person got CKD, and if a patient got PVD or stroke, there you have to be very specific. And you can titrate the nurse equally morning and evening, depending on the information of the load of systolic hypertension and diastolic hypertension, which we prove by ambulatory people.